In this video, you'll learn how to fix the gray hotspot problem on your iPhone. A gray hotspot means that you cannot use your phone as a personal hotspot. This can be frustrating, especially if you need to share your internet connection with other devices. But don't worry, I will walk you through the steps to get it working again. To get started, open up the Settings app on your iPhone. Once inside, look for Cellular, or it may say Mobile Service, depending on your region. Tap on that option. Now, ensure that Cellular Data, or Mobile Data, is enabled. This is crucial, because if Cellular Data isn't turned on, the hotspot feature won't work. Next, tap on Network Selection. Here, make sure the toggle next to the automatic option is enabled. After confirming those settings, go back and tap on Cellular Data Network, or it might be labeled as Mobile Data Network. Once there, look for an option that says, Reset Settings. Tap that and then confirm by selecting, Reset. After resetting these settings, it's time to restart your iPhone. Once your device has powered back up, check if the gray hotspot issue persists. If you're still facing issues after restarting, head back into the Settings app, then tap on General. Scroll all the way down until you see an option called Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap that. Then choose Reset. From the options presented, tap on Reset Network Settings. You'll need to enter your passcode for confirmation. Tap Reset Network Settings one more time. This will clear out any stored Wi Fi networks and passwords, but can often resolve connectivity issues. If resetting network settings didn't do the trick, there's one more step left. Tap again into the Reset options and choose Reset All Settings. Be warned, this will delete all custom settings, but should fix persistent problems like a grayed out hotspot. If you are still having trouble, as a last resort before contacting support or visiting a store, try ejecting and reinserting your SIM card. This simple action can sometimes reset connections within your device and restore functionality. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.